What's up, guys? I got uh, some books from eBay. Let's see what we got. Let's see what they are. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Good to see you. How's your mom? She's good? Good. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, but anyway, this is my YouTube channel where I buy comics. I talk about them, do unboxings, hauls, and everything in between. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button. Then that bell, like tap it, smash it, like ring it. Ring the bell. That way you get notified when new videos go live. So today, I've got some graphic novels here from eBay. One of my favorite eBay sellers had some stuff that I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can win that. And I did. So we're going to get into this box and show you which books I grabbed. But before I do, I do want to give a quick shout out to our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. Now, if you want to get graphic novels, Omnibus, oversized hardcovers, trade paperbacks before they get all on the secondary market or whatever, right? Then you got to grab them brand new. And if you want to buy brand new graphic novels for great prices with great shipping, great packaging, then you should do so at Organic Price Books. They're the best place to look for these collected editions. They ship them super well. Layers and layers of bubble wrap. There's some stuff we're going to get into with this package that you don't find at Organic Price Books. None of that nonsense. So go ahead to Organic Price Books. And by the way, they're having an amazing sale. So it's Black Friday and Black Friday is all week long, of course. So until next Monday, if you're watching this as it comes out, you can use my code BJKicks and you will save 5%. Yeah, not just $2, 5% on your order, which is great because the prices are already like 40 to 50% off. So use code BJ Kicks, you'll save the 5% at checkout. I'm super excited about that. Thanks to Organic Price Books for sponsoring this video and being just dope people. Uh, so now that's out of the way, we can go ahead and get into this package. Uh, this comes from the Marvel DC Collector Cave on eBay. Uh, and they, they do um, auctions every week and every book starts at 99 cents. Uh, typically they are used, they might have remainder marks, they might be like, they might have some scuffs. There might be something wrong with the book, but you get them for great prices. So, you know, you kind of you deal with it. You get what you get. This one did come in a Gemini mailer, which they generally do. But I will say, I can see a lot of dings on this box. I'm really hoping the books inside are safe. But, hey. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. So first up, let's look at this book. We have, oh, it's definitely bent right here, but it's not a big deal. So this is Fallen Angels, volume one. I don't know why they said volume one. There's no other volume of Fallen Angels. Uh, Fallen Angels, this was one of those Dawn of X titles that came out of House of X and Powers of Ten. And this is the one that was pretty much universally panned, like, People were not here for Fallen Angels. It's written by Brian Edward Hill. Um, I only read the first issue. It wasn't really my thing, but I got this for like a couple of dollars. So I went ahead and was like, well, I might as well finish out the series and see how it was. Um, even according to Brian Hill, it wasn't great. There was some editorial stuff that was outside of his control. He says, I'll say this, this artwork is like dark all the way throughout. Um, this one I just remember being confusing. Basically, this series follows Psylocke, as you can see on the cover, and it's her journey to get back into her real body. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting. Uh, and next up, let's see what else we got. Nice, a Marvel Complete Collection. Very cool. Very cool. So this is Captain America and the Falcon, the complete collection written by Christopher Priest. Uh, we've got art here by Bart Sears, Joe Bennett, Andrea DeVito, Greg Ticini, and Dan Jurgens. Um, this collects Captain America and the Falcon, uh, issues one through 14 from the year 2004. So this is before Priest's Black Panther run. Um, I'm tripping, no it's not, it's after. Because Priest Black Panther ran starting in like 98. 
Um, so this is after Priest like really made his name. First of all, Christopher Priest had been in comics for like ever. I think he's like on record as being the first black man hired in comics. I don't know how we quantify that, but pretty sure it's there. Um, but anyway, so Priest writes Black Panther. Um, he's written this. He wrote Deathstroke during the Rebirth era for DC Comics. Um, he's written a lot of really cool stuff. This is just something I bought specifically off the strength of Christopher Priest's name. So hopefully it's good. This should be a quick read. Yeah, it should be quick. I got this for like five bucks. And the book that made me buy this at all. So the reason I buy from Marvel DC Collector Cave is one, they start their auctions off super cheap, but then also they combine shipping and they list like a million books every week. So if you win one book, you might as well go ahead and try for a couple of more, couple more because it's only gonna cost you $1 additional to ship each additional book. Uh, so makes me excited, but the one that I saw and I was like, ooh, I need that, I need that, was this one right here. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collection. This is volume six. So as of right now, I own volume one and volume six. Why not more? Because uh, I hadn't got around to it. I grabbed this one. I think I paid $20 for this. Um, and it's got a retail price of $49.99. And so when you find these cheap, you buy them. I mean, there's 14 volumes to buy. So I'm not going to pay full retail for all of them. Hopefully not for any of them. But anyway, so volume six is one less that I have to track down. I still got to get, you know, everything else besides volume one. Volume 14 comes out in like June, I think. Um, but volumes one through 13 take us all the way up to issue 100. And my my run of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles starts with issue 100. So I gotta get these other 14 books is the point. But anyway, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collection, this nice cover with the shredder on it. I like this a lot. Um, old Hobbs, Slash, and their crew are forced to be reckoned with, and when someone close to the group is kidnapped, the Mutanimals end up on an adventure more wild and dangerous than they could ever imagine. Then, the Turtles return from Burno Island to find unimaginable tragedy. Oh, wait. Maybe I shouldn't be reading this, because, you know, I haven't read the rest of the books. This is spoilers for stuff I haven't read yet. Sorry, guys. You have to read this description on Amazon or something. Uh, but anyway, you guys can see the corners are kind of dinged up. Um, they kind of folded around. But I mean, is that a big deal? No. Does it affect the pages inside? Not a lot. And binding is still intact. The ribbon looks good. Dude, this artwork. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW series, like just looking at it, just seems like some of the most fun stuff ever. I can't wait to collect all these. I wish I was into comics when these were first coming out because this is the type of series that I would have been into from the very beginning. Um, and then I would have to play catch up with all these stupid hardcovers. But not mad. Not mad at all because this stuff looks really, really fun. This artwork is great. I think my, my light's a little bit too bright for you guys to really see. But yeah. And one thing I love about these hardcovers is they don't just collect the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, but all the mini series as well. So this one's got issues of uh, the Casey and April mini series, the Mutanimals mini series. So pretty cool stuff. This is a great way to collect Ninja Turtles. Uh, hopefully IDW keeps them evergreen, but they go in and out of stock all the time. So when you see one, grab one. So, I mean, that's it. That's the haul. That's the haul from eBay. Uh, we got Captain America and the Falcon. We got Fallen Angels. And for all of this, I paid like, I think, I paid like $40 total for all this stuff. I don't remember. But it wasn't bad is the point. So, love these graphic novels. I love comics. I buy comics I probably shouldn't buy. But they're cheap, right? 
Speaking of cheap comics, by the way, you absolutely need to check out our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. Like I said, they've got several of these, several of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hardcovers in stock. Um, and if you go ahead and buy them this weekend, you'll save an additional 5% off of whatever price is listed for these, which I believe these are like 35 to 40 each. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So use my coupon code BJKicks at checkout. You'll save that 5%. And even if Black Friday is over, you can still use that code and you'll still save $2 off your order. So not a bad deal at all, no matter when you find this video. I hope you saw something you liked. And uh, if not, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.